cables, cables. Oh, hello. You may have heard reports that a mysterious gunmetal gray, super slim notebook computer has been spotted around the Apple campus. Could this be the subcompact MacBook Pro that has been much rumored? Here at MacLife Labs, we have the first photographs, documentation, sightings of this computer in existence. Let's take a look. Slide. Here you can see an Apple employee roaming the campus and under his arm, what is that? Can we zoom in, please? Ha-ha! This might be the computer that will change all of our lives. Welcome to MacLife Rumors, our weekly rumor show leading up to Mac Expo in January. To my left is senior editor Eugene Robinson. To my right is managing editor Susie Oaks. So let's get to it. Rumor number one. Uno. Uh, no, uno. <laughs> rumor uno. A Goldman Sachs analyst says that there will be two iPhone updates next year. The first one will be a, a, just a small upgrade of more memory, maybe 16 gigabytes. I'm throwing that in there. That wasn't in the story. So that might be coming out. Then the second one is a more major update with a, I think as the analyst puts it, um, a slightly different form factor, but pretty much the same. <laughs> And with 3G. <laughs> can, I so. get, I, can I get that job? Can I they, they pay these guys serious money? It'll be exactly the same thing, but it'll be slightly different. And there'll be two of them in 2008. <laughs> really? That's great. You know? <laughs> I, I could have done that. You know? I like to see guys who do jobs that I can't do, you know? Um, but that, I mean, that's exciting. That means that I will be buying an iPhone in the later, yeah. la latter half of 2008. So, okay, that is actually exciting news. And they're supposed to change it, but not change it so much. Right. <laughs> change it. And <laughs> they're not supposed, they're supposed to change it, but not really change it. Like this way. <laughs> so, that way. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, I think the memory upgrade, I mean, that everybody was kind of probably expecting that. Uh, the 3G, I mean, there, it's yeah. all kind of stuff that's kind right. of been in the mill before. Right. Uh, nothing too exciting, except I guess the new thing is that two updates instead of just one for next year. Right. So that's kind of new. Did not? Did you not expect that though? Because I thought there were going to be two. I thought I knew there was going to be an early stage 2008 one, like maybe in February. Yeah. And that that and I knew that wouldn't do suffice at all for the entire 2008. You know, I was actually thinking that maybe in Macworld Expo they would announce one phone with more memory right. and 3G. Right. And then, you know, I, d I didn't, didn't really think about later in the year. Right. So that's what I was thinking. You know, I in other words, I didn't really close my mind to it. Uh -huh. In other words, I didn't really think about it that much. Oh, no, I did, because they were doing all the talk about Asia, like, oh, they're going to try to ramp it up for Asia. And I th was thinking, well, that's a pretty competitive landscape. I mean, if you're talking about Japan, yeah. You can't, you yeah. know, the people, early adopters of Japan have already, you know, have already dug down through the iPhone as it right. exists. It would have to be something whiz-banging. Yeah. So. yeah. so is this going to make you buy an iPhone now, Susie? Because you were kind of... Yeah, it might. The more more storage would be really great and yeah. the faster network. Because when you use it on edge, it's really slow and the current yeah. one, like you said, would never fly in no, Asia. No they, wouldn't, they wouldn't buy it. So... Um, I think, you know, if they really pack in a lot of features to the new upgrade, plus there's always the wild card of the software development kit coming out in right, February. Right, that's true, right. Once that hits, who knows? The sky's the limit after that. Yeah, I think that's that's one thing that's kind of been um, overlooked is the SDK. Right. So we could see some of that in Macworld Expo. So, so, um, so Susie, what do you think are the chances of this actually happening this the double two upgrade. upgrade. Yeah, the double upgrade. I think it's pretty likely. I'm going to give it a 70%. All right. And Eugene? I'm going to go for the ivory soap pick. 99, 44, oh, 100%. Wow. That's happen. got a lot of float to it. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I'm going to go with 89.41. Uh, so we'll be right back you guys after need this. Rumor
Rumor number two, the subcompact notebook has been seen on the Apple campus. Uh, Apple Insider says that people at the Apple campus have been seen walking around with this mysterious subcompact notebook that's been rumored for the past, I don't know, probably the past half a year or so. So, and it's been described as being gunmetal gray, which I like the gunmetal. I have tough. no pro- my car. My, yeah, <laughs> my car is gunmetal gray. My yeah. Car, so it could go with my car, but you know, when I had to buy my iPod Classic, there was that choice, and I shied away from gunmetal gray. <laughs> shied away. Did not choose it for some reason. Yeah. I, I'm starting to feel fashion barometer that I am. I'm starting to feel that it's played uh, somehow. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. You know. Well, you know, the whole aluminum, black, white thing on the Mac notebooks, to me, yeah. that, that's, to me, that's a little tired as yep. well. They need to yep. do something to, maybe gunmetal's the way to one step towards that, yep. you know, it's, at least it's different from the whole aluminum, black and white thing. It's yeah. kind of the same, though, because if you took the black one, the white one, and the aluminum one and put them in a blender somehow, <laughs> and they blend it up, you'd probably get this gunmetal gray color. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's serious, like, an outside-the-box yeah. choice. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, I, I'd go for, I mean, they've done a lot of stuff with these kind of really hardened plastic substrates. Like, what about, like, uh, something, I was, like, it's a new idea, clear, a clear a clear computer thing. So like you those see. phones that 12 year olds had in the that lasted early for 90s? Two s- yes. <laughs> those were great. That lasted for two seconds, you, you know. Can see the parts inside the phone. Right. No, I, I, don't know, I don't know what you'd have, but it's stylistically feeling, you know, like uh, black leather chairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, something that is really, yeah. you know, tribal tattoos, things that are well played. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, I think I need to call a couple of my friends at Apple and say, hey, have you seen that uh, notebook walking around? Uh, you know, they said it was thinner. Right. They said it looked like a MacBook, but it was a lot thinner, noticeably thinner. But so. this, this, is, this, is, this one, this rumor, though, it's a, it's a rumor kind of like the rumor of rain. You know, I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt that we're going to have rain in the next three months. <laughs> That's so, a pretty big window. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, I guess we kind of had odds on what kind of odds do you think this happening now that uh, there have been reported sightings yeah i think that i think that the sightings are hoo-ha i think it's gonna happen <laughs> it's yeah. like you know it's more than your ivory soap uh no but i'm gonna stick with the ivory soap thing <laughs> 99 44 100 so if i'm wrong i can say see i told you <laughs> i told you I, I, are these odds that it'll happen by Macworld expo or? odds that i'm gonna say odds that some sort of either announcement or unveiling or whatever happens at expo 49.8. Oh, oh. See, she got in the decimal. She, did the, she was oh, doing the math. Right. Took the pause to do the math. You can see the gears grinding. That's kind of a bold. That's. Uh. Okay, and I'm going, I'm going to go with, uh, what did I say, 89.41 last time? Yep. I'm going to say the same thing. So. All right, that's this week's rumors. Tune in next week when we talk <laughs> about <laughs> more rumors leading up to Macworld Expo. I'm Roman Loyola for Eugene Robinson and Susie Oaks. We'll see you next week. Next week.